Hello viewers and welcome to my fifth scenario mode video for F1 2013. This is the last rookie challenge. Um, rookie champion is the title. It's very loosely based upon Lewis Hamilton's last race in his rookie year where he tried to fight for the title at Sao Paulo. Um, so you have five laps or a little under five laps to overtake five cars to get into second place which would win you the world championship. Um, so yeah all the cars are bunched together. Yep, you have five, a little under five laps, overtake five cars, one car a lap on average. And I think there's Sebastian Vettel who's got a bit of a gap in the lead, so you can go for him if you feel as though you're fast enough. So as you come round, this is actually the corner where he overtook Timo Glock uh, in 2008, that was though, not in his rookie year. Just remember, use all your curves. I use pretty much all of my curves coming up that last corner onto the main straight. Um, that's the best place I've thought of using it. DRS as well. The cars do break fairly early, so you can go for moves into this first corner. But you don't have to. Yeah, you have quite a lot of time in this challenge. Obviously, a little under five laps, which is fairly long. It's about six minutes in total. Because it's quite a short lap, about 1 minute 10. I think it's one of the shorter laps on the on the calendar. So you can afford to be very patient. Um, I think it's Mark Webber in second. He won't really pull away too much from this group. So you can, you don't have to really go for it. I'd make a bit of contact with Alonso there, or Massa it might be. But he managed to keep going, so it's not too much trouble. They do break fairly early going into these two slow right-handers and you, you can do uh, cutback overtakes there, especially on the second one. Come around to the final corner, let the car settle on acceleration and then all, use all your curves that you've got left. You don't want to use your curves too early because it will unsettle the car and you might go into a spin. DRS zone is here, which I have got despite passing the car quite early. Okay, nicely hooked up with the first apex. Second one, I don't hit. Use a bit of curb on the exit of the center S. DRS zone halfway through the curve there, so you can be quite brave and use it early. If you want to save a bit more time. So I'm only two cars away now from the position I need. So you've got Fernando Alonso ahead of me. Could have gone for the pass here, but might as well be patient. It's not really the best overtaking place. Just keep it nice and steady through these corners. You don't want to accelerate too early because you're turning and accelerating, it will unsettle the car. You see how slow they are going through the slow corners. I am actually pushing him there. I don't actually get a pass done in this lap. It's not too much worry because we've still got two more laps after this one. So use all the curves. The DRS detection point is just here. So I like to stay behind him over the detection point so that I get DRS rather than him. And I'll whack it on and get past him quite easily. And here's our challenge, Mark Webber in second position. I have two more laps to pass him so I have plenty of time. You can afford to be very patient in this challenge. Don't feel as though you have to go banzaiing up the inside of everyone. There's no need to do that really. 100 meter marker board I use for turn 4. Get on the throttle quite early and you can use a bit of the curb on the exit. Now this double right hand, um, I missed the first one. You can come back for a late apex. Then brake pretty much straight away as you come over to the left hand side. So I put up the inside and he doesn't put up much resistance. So I'm in second place, all I need to be crowned the world champion. So I could just settle this position, but I, there's no need. I'd rather just go for first if I can get it. So got a one lap challenge to try and catch Vettel if I can. There's no need, but I don't have to do that. That's not part of the challenge, but why not go for it? Alternatively, you can just settle for the position the cars aren't brilliant at overtaking so you can't just hold station they probably won't go past you 
you can see it, well, I've already opened up about one or two seconds o over him, over Mark Webber. So it's unlikely he's going to come back past me anyway. So it's passing Vettel's just up the road now, so not too far away. Just adds a bit more spice to the challenge if you can catch up with him. Obviously, you'll get a better score on your um, on the leaderboards if you complete the challenge faster as well. I'd imagine. I, I'm not sure exactly how the point system works, but I'd imagine um, your overall race time is something to do with it. So you might as well push to some extent. So yeah, I, I do actually get close to him, but I don't actually go past him. And that's pretty much this challenge done. So. If you want to see more of these videos guys, please hit the subscribe button because I will be making a guide for all of the scenario modes in gold and with no assists. And yeah, if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. That will be very much appreciated. So I will be making quite a lot of F1 content. I want to make a new following for this game, if that's possible. There we are, over the line. Easily enough, the world champion. No, no fuss there. So if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. I always appreciate that. Leave a comment if you want to. I do like. I always reply to my subscribers and commenters if I can. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.